Oh, hello, what you doing? I can still catch you. I did. I should have body blocked her here, but we can still ult and body block her. Gonna clear her up. Easy peasy. What is up beautiful people, it's Sillardin here, welcome back to my channel, today we're playing Sir Cat in the Jungle and the Casual Conquest, it's Smite, we're coming in here by what looks like a Hera against what looks like an Arachne and a Posh combo I think. Ooh, Arthur already gets slapped to half HP, that's unfortunate. So Sir Cat, uh, one of my most favorite junglers actually, and although after some nerves she's not as good anymore. But I still enjoy her. Uh, her clear is pretty insane. I like it very, very much. Even though, like I already said, it's, it got fixed pretty hard. Looks like Arthur is in trouble. He might get murdered. Hopefully he recognized the fact that he should come up. Alright, our dual lane is already doing some damage. That's nice. That's good to see. We're gonna just step over that. <laughs> That's not placed well. Looks like Upwash is in trouble. We're blinking through. Good stuff. Hera was on point. Following up with my CC, which is nice. We're going straight for that red. Rackney should have stayed for the left miss because nothing else you can do here. Our dual lane is straight up proxying the wave. What a player. So me and Hera here doing pretty well. Arachne is behind now. I'm not gonna stick around for the wave. I'm going straight for the buff. Just making sure that Arachne did not rotate through there. Looks like there's some trouble in the dual lane, but Sobek securing the counter kill. Ooh, look at Loka getting soloed by some Arthur. That's nice. Going straight for that Cerberus. Get more damage in my one. Ooh, the jukes. Look at that juke. Yeah, I didn't take my three because I knew that I need a little bit more damage to just be able to secure this Cerberus with no problem. And I don't need that mobility just yet. If I get engaged on the camp and put in the bad spot, I can just one away. And we're pretty much ahead, so I just want to make sure that my camps are cleared faster. Usually you want to pick up the three because it just gives you so much more mobility. Ooh, I did not. <laughs> I need to stop talking. I did not pay attention. Shit, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that was my. That was my bad. <laughs> I was not looking there. Yeah, that's what happens when you like focusing on what to say instead of focusing how to play. There's a good chance that they're rotating for my speed, so we're slapping each minion a couple times to get that XP and gold. Dude, I said sorry, like, chill out. It's not like it's ranked. As you can see, I'm not very much tryharding here, just having fun. Uh, just playing some jungle. It's my warm-up game today. And just, I get a habit of recording, and if I get some decent game. That's my boy right there. Ooh, dueling slapping cheeks again. Going straight for the blue is here because, well, Kier got soloed, so that means we have control in the solo lane. Even though they're pretty even in terms of XP, can't really tell. Going for Telari boots here, I that's something I like to do a lot on junglers right now because I figured that the speed buff uh, that Telari gives is really good. <laughs> and the power boots are not, so I kind of stick with Telari now. Also, not having any mana issues is important. Let's see if we can bop this Cerberus. He just jumped, I sh I'm pretty sure. He's juking, he's getting murdered. Can I get her? Oh, I think I can. She has no beats. She has beats, but she still does that. She should be dead. Yeah. Like, she hold on to these bees to the point where I thought, well, she doesn't have one. <laughs> but apparently she did. She just straight up decided to waste them when it stopped being of any matter. Not gonna dwell on that anymore. We're rolling for the purple. Actually, nah, fuck it. I'm gonna leave it to them. 
these yeah, boys get pushed out, they'll go. Oh. Arachne almost died for that kill on the Arthur. That's unfortunate. Arthur is obviously salty because he is losing his lane after soloing the tier. Gonna clear, make my rotation through the jungle, make sure that the blue buff is warded. We're not gonna get invaded. Arthur's here, clearing up. Gonna help him out a little bit. And rotate for the mid. There's no reason for me to back. I don't have as much gold just yet. This is available. We're looking for a pluck, I assume. Sobex is looking. No. No, he just straight up goes out of position completely. <laughs> Maybe they have comms with Kurnas, but he's still way too far. I'm gonna blink in here. Oh, man. What is happening? Like, I think I have a little bit of dissing. Because that was not on point. All of it was not on point. I gotta disengage. That was a huge misplay. Uh, Sobek doesn't recognize that I'm running away, so he's going deep again. And it looks like that Arthur is getting bopped by Arachne. No, she's running. Come here, bitch. Oh, oh, I missed. Oh, okay. I fucked up. That was on me. Holy shit. Uh, we're straight up muting the Arthur. That was a huge misplay on my part, but he is extremely toxic for no reason even before that, so <laughs> there's no reason to read. Anything that Men does is not of any importance because he hasn't provided any useful information so far. All communication he was using was to harass somebody. Yeah, we're just straight up muting and not dwelling on that anymore. Blue is not going to be secured because I don't care about Arthur anymore. I would rather reinforce the duel in mid lane that actually do stuff oracles are available so we're gonna drop these and we're gonna word up the goal fury for some time there's three people in left lane i wish our kernanus was an afk in base but we're gonna secure the red buff while this happening oh hello what you doing I can still catch you. I did. I should have body blocked her here, but we can still ult and body block her. Gonna clear her up. Easy peasy. Sobek rotated to support me. That's very nice of him. Uh, purple buff looks like coming up. Might be a little dangerous. Yeah, a lot of dangerous. I'm gonna dip. Ooh, Sobek, Sobek. What you doing, my man? We gotta grab this man because he's out of position. Like, he actually jumped during the fight, so nowhere he can go against me with the amount of CC that I have. I'm gonna back, like, straight up here. That's gonna save me some time. By the way, we're going for the crit build here, because, um, you know, the defensive hybrid build on Circuit is not viable anymore due to the nerfs. And also, I want to be, like, the destructive damage in the team. I want those crits, and Malice is actually very, very good uh, on the ability-based physical characters now. So we're gonna try this out. I think it should work really well. This wave is getting just depleted. We're gonna secure it. We're still too far from the rotation to the fight. Speaking of killing sprees, Looks like somebody survived, so they're dipping. We're gonna stick around, just make sure that the wave is going down to somebody who takes it. Looks like her is doing really well. If I rotated, she probably would have survived, but losing two waves to that is not a good deal. Okay, what you doing here? Oh, you're AFK! I'm gonna help him secure this <laughs> while we're at it. So we got the return kill, we got all of the waves in mid, we missed no experience or goal for that, and that works out pretty well. Look at this juicy grits, that's just 5%. Imagine when we have like a Malice and DB. Oh, the old crits are cad, I love it. Dropping bread, going straight for the speed here.
Good stuff by him leeching my experience because I don't really care. I can split that. He missed uh, all those waves in mid, so that makes sense. Okay, they're jumping on Arthur. We should go straight for the gold here. There's three people in left. Um, nobody's going gold, I guess. His enemy is pushed out well. Karnana's... Oh, her is in trouble. I have to help her with that this time. She juked me out. Okay, I thought she was not in her ult, but she is. I might die here getting body blocked by fucking minigans. Ooh, if he hit that three, I would have died, but the Gold Fury is down, so that works out. We lost her over the Gold Fury. Arachne burned her ult. Uh, Apwash burned her ult. Ooh, not typing here. Damn, am I gonna die? Oh, looks like I'm dead. No. Jeez, that was close. Okay. We're gonna sustain ourselves a little bit. And get the full malice on our back. Just wait up like a couple of seconds. Okay, so Tyr rotated. He's two levels ahead on Arthur. That makes sense. Arthur still is not rotating. But it's fine. It's fine. We can kill this Tyr. He's pretty low. Catch somebody here. Hmm. Not a good thing. Popping him straight into the Hura. At least we kill the support. That's something. Looks like Arthur is salty and straight up AFK in his lane. I can take that, it's fine. He was useless anyway, so... If he at least put some pressure on the solo lane constantly, that's gonna make Tyr... He'll have to make more decisions than he wants to. Ooh, what you doing, man? Oh, so unfortunate. I understand his struggle. He's struggling to get any XP. And here I am, just walking past the point. What you doing? That's his beats. That's some good damage still. There was no kill potential in there, but he still beats and we still deal all the damage that we wanted. So, pretty good. Oh, they got the Pyromancer. That's unfortunate. Somebody spamming the F6. That's typical for casuals. Not a big deal. We're not gonna we're gonna disregard that and move on. Doing pretty well overall. Sustaining ourselves back up with the Assassin's Blessing. We're 8, 1, and 2. We're part of 10 kills out of 19. Doing pretty well so far. From this blue as well. Let's look at the tier. He wants to invade on the buff. Not a whole lot I can do here. So I wanted to kind of juke his stuff. But he didn't use it. Uh, looks like he's rotating for the mid. We're going to see him in the minions anytime. Yep, there he is. So we're straight up chasing, giving the vision for the team. Hopefully they see that we're doing it. Oh, look at that. 180 from the guy. Doing pretty decent. We're going to keep him around. Maybe my team rotates. So we murder the guy. But looks like not. Yeah, I cannot kill him. I can die, actually. I need to fuck off. He's ulting after me. He cannot chase me down, so it's fine. Yeah. Her I can die to Arachne pretty easily. Let's stick around. Maybe we can make so make a play. Just make sure not to die. And look at the Arthur just being AFK there. At least he's taking the speed buff. That's pretty pretty essential, actually. He took that speed buff and he didn't pick it up, so that makes sense. Uh, that kind of delays the timer on the enemy speed buff by a lot, which is a very very good actually. Not the worst play that he could have made, considering that he's salty in AFK. We need to go for the Pyromancer, just put some words on anything, like look at the wording situation on our team, that's casuals for you. Not a single goddamn word on the map. Looking for mid, maybe Opwash is out of position a little bit. Mm -hmm. No, not even close. Oh, hello there, what you doing? We're running. <laughs> I don't want to be a part of that. Don't have bees, don't have blink, don't have... Get out of here. Upwash is zoned out and Cerberus is straight up getting murdered. So that's fine. He dropped his kit. He dropped his ults. So his ult for my two. 
It's totally fine. I wish he also bees. That would have been perfect. Oh, tear with the blink and a miss. Cannot kill the man. He's pretty much invincible to me at this point. Just make sure that he doesn't do too much with our CC and ult. Go for the gold here would be nice. It looks like Cernan has recognized the situation. His anami is pushed up to the tower. She's afraid to leave. We're straight up gonna get this. I have some crits, so it might be pretty fast. And it is. They're still engaging in the mid, so free gold here. And Apwash is out of position as well. He still has beats and ages, and he wastes both of them. Tear is looking for me, but we're backing off. Oh, Arachne, what you doing? I don't think anyone's surprised. Damn. Well, we got a gold fury. They had a pretty good fight. Uh, we're gonna go around this man. No, looks like he's looking for me. Can we jump in? We can do some damage. Okay, that's his ult again. We're disengaging. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, that was unfortunate. We have trouble with Tyr. I need to get some penetration. So we picked up Titan's Bane because Tyr is a trouble. And we need to open that can of beans somehow. And considering I went crit, we need that penetration. In case you're wondering, no, Titan's Bane wasn't nerfed the way the Obsidian did. So it's still a very much effective item. He might not be prepared with me being able to open him up now, so that's pretty good. We're gonna drop him under the tower. That's half his HP, we can still go. He missed. That's nice. Like I said, he's pretty much killable right now. Where's my one? Oh, I didn't. Didn't went off. I can follow that up. He gonna turn here, so we need- Oh, shit. I was not paying attention to what Arachne was doing, unfortunately. Yeah, I was too focused on him trying to pull me. Looks like he still dies, so it's fine. And uh, Cerberus is following him. Opwash is way out of position. So that's three for one. I guess I'll take it. Damn it, they didn't wait with the fire giant. I was literally two seconds away. Mm, I wish people just paid attention. I could use that fire giant buff, but it's fine. Uh, we got three kills in return for my death. A fire giant with a pyromancer, so pretty good advantage now. We're almost 6k ahead. Dropping a tier one looks like. No, nope. no. Nope. Sobek wanted that, but didn't get it. I think I'm gonna focus straight up on the right lane here because that gives the most pressure. There's uh, some action in mid lane, but they're big boys. They're gonna take care of themselves. Warding sentry here, just making sure that no bullshit is happening. Yeah, that's the bullshit we're talking about. Gonna straight up go for the tier two. Ward up deep. Checking. No, she's not around. Okay, Cernus is... Oh, there you go. Hello! And we got her. That was wasted all by Cern and us, but I agree with that. I always prefer to over-secure than let him go by not committing enough. They're coming this way. We're jumping in. Oh, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to die for this shit. Can we run? Okay, I'm alive. That's not what I expected. Honestly, I thought I was dead. But meanwhile, Cernan is pushing down the Phoenix, so it works out even better. Uh, not gonna lie, I was not paying attention to that fact just now, so that was a totally great push by him. And me rotating to the mid, getting this uh, team, the enemy team engaged, was pretty good. They want to push for the middle Phoenix. Let's see, see this man a little bit, just. Make sure that he doesn't bop me, is, is the most important part here. If Cernus gets an in on the Phoenix, we put some damage on the Phoenix, will we be able to take it? Doesn't look that way, we need to run. Oh, Cerberus! That's the ult? No. Looking for Arachne, she's ulting out, that's fine. We still have our ult, so we have some good CC. Just make sure to be behind. He jumped off as soon as I jumped in. But we still get him, so that's great. CERN is doing a great job here. More CC. Yeah, this looks like a game. Um, 
little enemy phoenix. Attack the right. Um. I'm trying to do the attack the left phoenix. I misclicked twice, but it's too late. They're going for the Titan here. But we don't have enough HP to do that. Tyr is really, really annoying. Oh! I got bopped by Tyr. They're gonna finish the game, right? No, Cernan's getting zoned out. They should go for the Titan here. It should be game. Yeah, good job. I mean, the wording situation was pretty bad this game, but overall I kind of enjoy when I don't have to carry my brains out to win the game, so that's some awesome experience. So in terms of builds, we're going obviously Assassin's Blessing and Terlaria boots because those are recently the boots that I prefer the most in the jungle. Just the speed is way up there and the fact that they're actually nerfing that in the next patch is kind of shows that these are probably the most effective boots for the jungler. Malice is something that I wanted to try. I want that crit. I want that CDR from the Malice and I wanted more CDR so we went Jolun's Wrath. I kind of wanted uh, Brawler's Beast Stick because they have so much healing literally every single character on their team except for Izanami has some built-in healing and Izanami is opting for devotion so the brawler beat stick here is gonna be a perfect build but the tier was the one who, who were carrying in their team so we decided to go Titan's Bane here which is a perfect item to open that high defense can of beans next item would be Deathbringer to solidify the damage from our crits and probably some util item like a wing blade or maybe some double D to make sure that we don't die too fast but overall that would be the build. In terms of kill participation we're 16 out of 31 which is over a half a little bit uh, not a lot of deaths too so pretty decent. Surprisingly to me uh, the Arachne did um, almost the same amount of participation considering they have less kills overall on the team she actually did somewhat even a little bit better but it just felt that she didn't. I saw her ulting out way too often and overall her early rotation were not on point as well. And in terms of damage, uh, we are not top on the field. Kurnas obviously did a great job, but surprisingly to me, Hura also did a very good job here. So in, comparatively to the enemy Arachne, I did almost the same damage as her. In terms of warding, a couple extra wards over the free ward exhaustion, so not a huge deal. Despite Sobek having like 9 wards, I don't know where all of them were because <laughs> the map was empty in terms of wording. On the enemy team, support did not exhaust the free ward. Solo laner barely did anything in terms of wording, but maybe that's because I wasn't paying much attention to his lane. He got cocky or something like that. Uh, not really sure. Comparatively, our mid laner over the double damage on the enemy mid uh, me pretty much the same um, stats as the enemy jungler so nothing big here ports the same adc is destroying that is an army tripling her damage and participation and having most of the structure damage is what i like to see in my fucking adcs every once in a while and our solo later out damaging the enemy solo by a little bit and every single other stat is pretty much the same Despite the tier having more participation with his 15 kills out of 25 and he's probably the most effective player on the enemy team. Our solo laner however went AFK in his lane and his 9 kills participation which is the lowest on the team. And that'll be Sir Cat Jungle game, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I just like playing Sir Cat every once in a while, I think she's a pretty solid jungler. I'll bet something is lacking with her right now after the nurse. They kinda dialed her down with uh, and forgot to dial her up, so she's like a decent jungler. She's not bad in any regard, she's just not as good as the top tier bloated overpowered characters in the jungle right now. So. If you're playing ranked, you probably want to stick to something else. You can have good games with her, no problem, because she is very much A tier or maybe even a little bit higher, considering her high clear. And hopefully guys, you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell is very important because that helps the YouTube algorithm think that you like my content and show it to other people, which is much appreciated. If you want to ask me a question, leave a comment. I always respond to comments on my channel to every single one literally and if you like the video obviously leave a like on the video it helps the youtube algorithm as well and helps me and helps you to get more content so a win-win situation nonetheless and as always hope to see you in the next video have a wonderful day